Hey, hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to some more Pokemon action. I'm your host Ryan and today we are on raiding battle spot with uh, an in-game teams. This is gonna be interesting. Um, so, uh, like I said, you know, I'd prefer to do... Ooh, let's do Totem. Um, I'd prefer to do free battles because this team is an in-game team. I don't really have any items on it. Um, I don't really have anything for it. It's not EV trained. It's not doesn't have good IVs, it doesn't have good natures, but as we saw from yesterday's episode where I played free battles, we're most likely going to be going up against not level 50s, and I think this is going to be a little bit more challenging, and I don't expect to win like any battles, but at least it's going to be somewhat more even instead of just a curb stomp from us. Um, and now that, you know, I've showed you some stuff, I don't really know. But, um, long story short, breeding is going to take a while. It's going to be a while before I can get a team going. Um, unfortunately, bank isn't open, so I can't bring over my dittos. So that's one problem. Uh, the second problem is that Destiny Knot requires 48 um, battle points from either the Battle Tower or the Battle Royals. And unfortunately, I'm usually not very good at those. So it's going to take me a while to get Destiny Knot. Um, I was hoping power saves would have at least some codes for battle points, but they don't. They don't have any codes at all, so unfortunately for the time being, we're, uh, we're a little shit out of luck. Um, but that's okay, you know, I've been practicing on Showdown, getting some teams ready, so at the very least, once we- I can at least start breeding, um, I can get, you know, some- some of the natures down, uh, and stuff like that, so opposing trainer cannot be found we're gonna try one more time and then if if we can't we will go back to free battle I, again you know not not only is it hard for us to breed and and ev train uh it's hard for everyone right now uh it, it's gonna it's gonna take a while why did that just bot me back that was weird um it's gonna be difficult for every oops what the heck no no you can't okay so i just totally accidentally did this um, apparently, you can edit teams in Battle Spot. That is really cool. That's some. That's a really good feature. I'm not gonna. Lie. That is really good. Um, I know you can have mul You can have, I think six pre-made teams on uh, Battle Spot. Um, you can have six pre-made teams and then a QR team or a couple of QR teams. I don't know. QR isn't working yet. I don't know why it's not working yet, but it's not going to be working until, um, January, I believe. Uh, but that, that's going to be a really sweet feature. I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, the fact that you can actually change your teams inside of Battle Spot is really, really nice. I wonder, I'm pretty sure you can change items too. Because they, they revamped the whole PC, and the whole PC is really nice now. Y'all, that's really good. I'm so happy about that. I have a feeling we're going to have to do free battles, unfortunately. Uh, because it doesn't seem like anyone's playing. And there's nothing I can do about that. Absolutely nothing. I can't force people to play. I'd play against my friends, but... I don't know. Maybe, 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 for, no, maybe for a couple of episodes this week. But not for this one, because right now I need to do this, eat lunch, and get back to grinding out that BP. Um, I'm getting all the TMs, all the Z crystals, all the items, and hopefully it's gonna work. Oh man, I hate bat battle points. I don't know about you guys. I absolutely oh there we go, sweet. I absolutely despise battle points. It's the worst system in my opinion. All right, so it looks like he's got Garchomp, Metagross, Silvally, Silvally. I don't know. Um, who's typing we do not know, Lucario, Talonflame, and Tapu Koko. Um, so honestly, I think, I think Mudsdale is a pretty solid lead. Why do you have Grassium? What? Oh no, Groundium. Okay, I was like, why do you have Grassium? Um, so that's a pretty solid lead for us. I think, I'm afraid of the Talonflame if it has, um, Brave, whatever. Uh, my Arcanine does not have anything i'm gonna go um i'm gonna go golem i'm gonna bring decidui in the back and i'm thinking maybe uh a raquinid i was gonna i was gonna bring beware but he's got a lot of stuff that hits beware super hard so we'll see how this goes again i'm not expecting to win but this is gonna be pretty sweet um we'll see some real competitive action here like i said you know i've been playing around with some teams and some options um i tried using comfy and i um sad to say this but comfy is complete garbage 
It is not good. Uh, it, it just gets one hit KO'd by everything. <laughs> it's not fun. So that's not good. Uh, but let's look at this. So we started off with that. They started off with Talonflame and Garchomp. So I did predict the Talonflame. Hallelujah. The question is, is he going to go for an Earthquake? And do I care? I don't think I care. Um, I'm going to go for a... a you know what? I'm just going to bop. I'm gonna bop this dude. I'm gonna bop this dude so hard. We're gonna hit him with the Z move that and then I'm gonna just go for a rock tomb on the Talonflame. See my golem has sturdy so I can survive an earthquake. He's gonna go for Tailwind. Oh my god, he's actually competitive. Oh god, I wonder if I can win this. Um, he does go for the earthquake. So again, I am sturdy so I will survive this. This is why I didn't mind because I didn't think he'd attack the golem. Um, I really didn't think he'd attack the golem here. So I was pretty comfortable going for the uh, the rock tomb. Now the question is, will I survive? <laughs> will I kill him? Probably not. Oh wait, whoa, whoa! I actually will. Cool. Um, that's actually pretty brilliant. And then I go for the Z move here. Boom, Z move, baby. Yeah, I need a haircut in this game. I hate the hair. I hate it. I don't know where to get the haircut though. <laughs> that's the only problem. I absolutely hate my hair, but I don't know where to go to change it. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Um, so we're gonna just go for the Z move. That should do a, a decent chunk. I don't know if it's gonna kill, but it should do a decent chunk. Um, does it re- oh, okay, I was gonna say, does it really kill? Um, but it doesn't, so that's okay. Um, but getting it down to that, that low means that I can kill it with an Earthquake. And I'll just probably go for an Earthquake this turn. Um, we'll see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake. I'm not going to even bother switching out my golem. He's kind of useless right now. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake. And uh, just in case, I'm going to Thunder Punch the, the Lucario. You never know. You really never know. Uh, but my Mudsdale should survive this turn. I don't think he can Mega Evolve. I think this is uh, VGC rules. I don't know. Yo, it tells you how many turns left on the Tailwind. Oh, this is good. I don't like the boxes, though. Well, he was Flamethrower. Interesting. Oh, because he didn't—he probably didn't want to kill the Lucario. Oh, that crit so mad. <laughs> um, Aura Sphere. Okay, that actually might kill me. I figured it was gonna be physical, but no, I'm a Mudsdale baby. I'm a Mudsdale. Yo, Mudsdale is one of my favorite. I love Mudsdale. Yo, that's even Life Orb. Oh, Mudsdale is so good. I'm not even EV trained, and I'm kicking this dude's ass. This dude is definitely EV trained. He has Tailwind, which is 100% a. Uh, um, a, an egg move. I'm pretty sure it's an egg move. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Um, I'm gonna bring in Araquanid, because I can just swap, swap out my Mudsdale for Decidueye. Um, okay, good, 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 good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, well, I wasn't exactly expecting the Metagross to come out, but y you understand my, my under you understand me. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out into my Decidueye, expecting the fighting type move. And then we are going to go for I want I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the uh the Lucario with a liquidation. So what's really cool about Araquanid, which he, Oh he forfeited! Yo, I just won with an in-game team. I am so happy right now. <laughs> Holy crap. So either way you guys think well, okay, so let me finish my train of thought before I, I move on. So one thing about Araquanid, which you might not realize just by looking at the base stats, is that it's actually a monster. Um its ability water bubble, which is the only ability you guys should ever be using on this thing, um, has three different parts. So the first part is that it makes you actually take 50% less damage from fire type attacks. So Water Bug normally is neutral to fire. However, because of the ability, it now has a resistance to fire. Just a quarter, um, just a half, half times resistance, but it's still a resistance. So that's already amazing. On top of that, it also is immune to being burnt. So this thing can't be burnt, which is pretty sweet. But even further than that, and this is what they don't tell you in the game, is that it also doubles the base power of all water type moves used by this Pokemon. So what's good about this is that it's basically a huge power for water type moves. So he only has base 70 attack and base 50 special attack. However, 
every single thing he uses is double so liquidation is a base 85 attack and if i'm understanding correctly it's actually a base 170 attack when used by our good friend over here araquanid so even though he only has base 70 he still hits like a monster with those water type attacks so that's why he's really good and that's why you know like the set looks a little weird um a, no a normal set would probably be a water stab um leech life or infest infestation and then whatever else it gets i don't know but yeah so either way guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i hope to catch you guys at the next episode peace